Welcome to another video. In this video, we are solving for the square root of the square root of 9 minus the square root of 8. So first thing we're going to do here is we're going to solve for the individual square roots. So we should know that square root of 9 is 3. And then we should also know that 8 can be rewritten as 2 to the power of 3. So let's do that. We would have square root of 2 to the power of 3. And then what we can do with 2 to the power of 3 is rewrite it so it is 2 squared times 2. So I have the square root of 2 squared times 2. And when we have a square root and a value squared, those will cancel. So we'll be left with a 2 times the square root of 2. Now let's rewrite this square root with our new values inside of it. So we'll have square root of 3 minus 2 square root of 2. Now we want to rewrite this expression so that we can apply the perfect square properties to it. And now what the perfect square says is if we had a minus b squared, that would be equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So we want this square root to look like the right side of this expression. The reason we want to do that is if we can make the inside of the square root to look like the right side, we can then have our squares cancel. So if you're not understanding yet, you'll see in a moment. So the first step towards making the inside of our square look like this is we're going to reduce this 3 down to a 2 and add 1 on the end of the expression because that'll then give us a b value. So we'll have square root of 2 minus 2 times the square root of 2 plus 1. Now we have an a, a 2ab, and a b. Now in order to make it squared, we're going to put 2 and 1 with a root over it and then square that. So it'll look like this. We'll have square root of square root of 2 squared and then we'll also have square root of 1 squared. Now the square root of 1 is just 1 so we can rewrite that and simplify that. So now if you notice we are almost there. We have an a value correct, which is square root of 2, and the a value is also here, square root of 2, and we have a b val value, which is 1. The only thing we're missing is the b value in this middle expression. We have a 2, an a, and we need a b. And since b is 1, all we need to do is multiply the middle by 1. So it'll be square root of square root of 2 squared minus 2 square root of 2 times 1 plus 1 squared. Now, since this follows exactly what the perfect square formula is, we can take our a value minus our b value squared. Our a value is square root of 2, and our b value is 1. So we'll have square root of 2 minus 1 squared inside of our square. So our two squares will cancel, and we'll be left with square root of 2 minus 1. And if you want a decimal form, that would be 0 0.41421, and it will keep on going. So if you found this video informative and helpful, please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.